All right, uh, there's a quick video on how to adjust your first regulator on the Impact M3. As you can see, I have mine set around uh, 175 bars. So if you want to lower this to 150, and I'll show you how to do it first. Unscrew the bottle. Now, most of the time, it's just going to vent this little area here. 95% of the time. If it dumps the rear plenum, it's all right. You just got to wait a little longer till it all bleeds out. Now, unscrew the bottle all the way to access the regular adjustment hole all right you're still going to need a two and a half mil and it's very touchy so you only adjust a little bit at a time to lower the speed i mean to lower the rake pressure you need to screw it in and this adjustment screw has only one o-ring so you know it's very easy to turn and not noticing this resistance and find out where you're at, but no, it'll turn real easy. You don't know you're turning it. So you have to go in and out without turning and you feel going a little further in than, mo uh, than usual. That's when you're inside the socket. So you turn it like uh, two hours. Just pretend it's a clock face. So turn it two hours in. Just like that. And we'll give that a try. Screw bottle back on. Since pressure builds up, you don't have to screw it in unless you're right exactly where you want to be. Right now, all right. 152 bars so you want to get on or about you don't want to keep removing the bottle in and out and trying to get exactly 150 but you're really close i would leave it like that so less stress on uh on the o-ring and the threads by over adjusting well you know wear and tear builds up after you you unthread uh items or parts all right so it looks good right there yeah, then you screw the bottle all the way back in. You could dry fire before you screw the bottle in, see where it settles. But, you know, this is good, good right there. All right, that's how you adjust a regular properly without damaging it. All right, catch the next video.